right, here we have a four bedroom apartment in Gangnam, and we're going to be renovating it. Today's the first day we've got possession of the apartment. So we're going to go through and I'm going to try to uh, give you all an idea of what we're doing with the remodeling. Gives you an idea of what's possible a little bit with some of these apartments. And uh, just gives you kind of a view inside of uh, what we're looking at here. So this is a little bit larger than most apartments we've run into. The entryways, you can see we come into a long hallway here. We It's a four bedroom and there's a master bedroom off to the left at the at the near or far end by the living room. So as we go through this, we'll go through each bedroom. The first one off to the right, kind of a small bedroom. And you can see there's a balcony off of the bedroom. There's like a hardwood laminate type floor and the floors are all heated. And let's see here. These blinds are all going to come down. And you see they don't work real well. So I'll try to give you an eye view of what we've got, even though the blinds don't work. Here we have the balcony, and there's sliding glass doors off the bedroom. The balcony actually connects to the next bedroom as well. And you see that here. So what our plans are, we've got built-in closets here. Our plans are we're gonna be wallpapering all the walls and the ceilings. Uh, we're gonna be keeping the, the brown molding. Floors we're gonna maintain in this room anyways. And then this wall, we're gonna be breaking it down and creating a one larger room between these two rooms which works nice also because the balcony's connected. Gives you a little bit of an idea and it gives it a lot larger space. We can always put beds in, uh, but it becomes a, another living area for us at, as well. This is the other side of that same bedroom where we're gonna take down the wall. So you can see it's, it's pretty much the same, another sliding glass door unit to the outside balcony, which also has sliding glass doors. And then it also has a built-in closet here. This wall surface is all going to come down and put regular wallpaper on it. And we'll be replacing lights as well. So the floor is not too bad a shape, but we'll, we'll kind of monitor that and see how it goes once everything is done, cleaned up, and uh, see what it needs to do. Right now, uh, I believe with this balcony, I can't remember right off, we may be tiling this balcony. I can't remember right off if we are with a, we've got kind of a collage or some darker tones. The other thing is that these balconies, the, well, the balcony area will be painted. So kind of give it a fresh, clean look. Now you notice another interesting thing, and I've never seen this before, but I hear it's quite common. Matter of fact, I've seen it for sale in, in uh, department stores. Uh, it's basically bubble wrap that people put on their windows and it's supposed to add uh, more insulating value to the window. So this is all going to come down, window will be cleaned, kind of sticks to the window and makes a mess if you ask me. Um, but this kind of gives you a view from at least our floor, we're at fifth floor here. So we got a new complex I park over there and this goes to the south and this direction is towards the ocean there. So, and then in Gangnam, if it's on a clearer day, you can see a little bit better, we have mountains off to the, uh, to the west. And once again, this is that longer view of that balcony. So when these two rooms are connected, it's gonna give a lot larger living space. This is our third bedroom. And we have a isolated balcony that's off here. You can see the bubble wrap that's on there again. And this particular bedroom has a bathroom off of it. This is just a, a small bath. And we're going to be remodeling this as well. A lot of times, and I'm not sure why, but we see this degradation on the, uh, on the windows, on the mirrors. 
Uh, and it's, it's not too, too nice that way. Now, what a lot of, a lot of, what they'll do here is they'll have a hand shower unit and that would enable a person to stand in this general area, take a shower. And these are wet bathrooms in Korea. Uh, for people who don't know what that means is everything in the bathroom is designed to get wet. Um, so you can actually spray everything down when it comes to cleaning. And, um, and then what they'll do is they'll wear sandals in the, the bathroom area. So you'll see where we're making changes in our uh, master bathroom so that it's a dry bathroom. And in this particular bedroom, these are built in, a uh, built in wardrobe that uh, is staying with the unit. So and actually, if you ask me, the inside looks nicer than the outside. I'm not sure why that is. It's a little bit interesting there. But it gives some good storage space. And some drawers and so forth. So storage space is kind of key in these apartments. There's just not a heck of a lot of it. And then if we take a look out on the balcony here, we see there's an air exchange unit. I'm not sure how that works yet. We're gonna have to find out. And this is a smaller balcony, as you can see, half windows here, more bubble wrap. And then the view going out, this is more towards the uh, Northwest area. And then once again, we have storage space. Oh, I should have mentioned that once again, in this room, what we're going to be doing is replacing the wallpaper on the walls as well as the ceiling. The floor is going to remain. It's pretty decent shape. Bathroom, we're going to be taking a look at replacing some fixtures, I think. Uh, definitely some of the lighting is, is really uh, dated. Um, there's no cracked tiles or anything, but uh, we'll be putting bidets on the toilets uh, throughout the place as well. This is a second bathroom right off of that first bedroom. As we enter the uh, apartment, we have this cabinetry here with the place for shoes, clothes, and you know, coats and whatnot, storage. Um, there's this bathroom right off the, the main hallway here. And you can see, once again, the fixtures are pretty dated, used. The uh, apartment is 13 years old. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of design-wise what you're seeing and an age effect. You, you can also notice that on uh, the mirror, you see that degradation on the mirror, which I've never really seen anywhere else, but it seems to happen frequently here. So we're gonna be replacing these. Um, toilet, not sure if we're gonna be replacing it once we get everything cleaned up and see what it looks like. But as I mentioned, we'll be putting a bidet on this one as well. Quite possibly, we'll be redoing the tile in here. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be with this particular project. It may be a subsequent project that we do it. Light fixture and so forth, we'll definitely be doing right away. Here's a little better view with the, some of the lights that, that are working on. And you can see the hallway here. So as we're moving past the bathroom and the, and the three bedrooms, we've got a kind of a nook area here where it's a small balcony and not sure how we're gonna fill it design wise, but you can see a little bit what's involved. There's actually a, a sliding window access that goes into the kitchen here. And then you have the shorter sliding doors. tile floor. We're going to be leaving this tile floor. We're not doing anything with it. Things are in pretty good shape. We will be painting the walls and the ceilings in here. And all of the, you might have noticed blinds, but we're removing all the blinds as well as, of course, the bubble wrap. So as you can see here, a little bit, it's a, it's a rainy day here, about 3.30. Right, as we continue down, uh, on the left side, we have the master bedroom. Uh, I'm not sure. That's definitely not the one there. Well, no idea about the light switches. I'd give you an idea. 
it's a complicated light switch so anyhow what we have is uh the, the once again the floor is that wood floor same dark wood floor we're leaving that doing the walls doing the ceiling light fixture taking changing that out and then there's the sliding doors off the balcony here off the bedroom and kind of gives you a view this is towards the east southeast so you can see we're just clearing the pines with the elevation of the apartment so hopefully that'll help with some of the breeze that comes across from the ocean the ocean is straight ahead here and this is interesting this is a fire escape device And you're supposed to swing it out over the side of the balcony. And what's missing on here is a rope that you tie yourself to. And then you can jimmy down the rope to escape the fire. And subsequently, it's called Descending Lifeline. Um, I haven't seen these in a while. I've seen it in some of the older buildings. But I'd like to get a rope just in case we would want to use it. And here we have another storage closet. So good, good space that way. And on this balcony, we are going to be redoing the floor. So you'll see that in the later videos. And of course, the painting and removing the blinds. All right, off the, the master bedroom, we have, there's a, there's a bath area and walk-in closet. This is a small area or nook. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's a vanity a personal desk space. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with it, but we'll probably convert it to storage in some fashion. And then here is our walk-in closet. And then you see it already comes with a shelving system, which is pretty nice actually. Full-length mirror. And we'll probably fill this up. Like I said, not much storage space here. And then uh, in the bathroom. And apologize, but the lights are, some of the lights are out, so we need to, to get those fixed. The master bathroom here, we're doing a complete makeover. This is what we're converting to a dry bathroom. <clears throat> now, what that will mean is we're gonna take out this tub uh, removal starts in about a week or so. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're going to be taking that entire tire tub out. One of the options they're looking at doing, you can see the floor steps down here. They're going to be bringing the floor up to the same level as this floor in here. And then it'll go across and of course it'll, it'll slant a little bit to the drain here. And then also going forward, it'll go and then drop down where the walk-in shower is going to be along the end. There'll be a glass partition, and that way everything should be contained shower-wise at that end. We've got a new cabinet going in that's going to be hung off the floor. And then we have glass, cab glass uh, mirror cabinets that's going to go above that. The rest of the mirror is going to be taken down, and then new tiling on the walls and the floor. Uh, new toilet with bidet, and then... Uh, well, with a new ceiling as well in this case, too. So come, come, pretty much a complete revamp on, on the master bath here. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Now, as we come out of the, the master bedroom, you look down towards the hallway where we entered. And here we have our living area, our main living room. So you'll see there's a kind of a main switchboard here with heating control, uh, intercoms, lighting. This is a elevator floor notification. You can call the elevator from this button here so that if you are getting ready, you can hit the elevator, get your shoes on, get outside and the elevators are waiting for you, which is kind of nice. 
So in here is our main living room. You can kind of, it's really nice with the, the sliding glass door system they have. It really makes it open up and feel not only large, but lets in a large amount of light, even on a day like today. So in here, we're having a floor redone completely. The balconies are being redone as far as the flooring goes, new tile put in. And uh, as I mentioned, wallpaper on the ceiling and the walls, desperately needed. So that's gonna be redone as well. These brown partitions, we're going to keep kinda to emulate that older Korean style building style that you see kind of with the, the stucco type wall with the brown timber supports. Um, so that, that's kind of the look we're going for. The, the floor's going to be more of a stone uh, uh, textured uh, tile uh, and uh, with a gray and some browns in it that'll hopefully pick up the wallpaper and the, and the brown uh, molding on the walls. So hopefully that'll look good combination wise. The new, uh, be a new light, of course, new center light. And uh, new lights probably put in here uh, that directionalize the light a little bit more better. But as you can see, a really nice view. It uh, really opens up in here nicely. So we're pretty excited about this. And with the, the sliding doors on the corners like this, and as well as maybe opening up, you know, some in the, uh, in the bedroom, one or two bedrooms, we should be able to create quite a cross current for, for flow. This is uh, going out uh, into the balcony of the front of the living room. And once again, we're looking at the east, southeast direction. So we're going to get a lot of sunlight in here. Uh, we're pretty much unobstructed building wise from uh, airflow, which is nice as well. Now, it's quite possible down the road they might tear these down and build something else. That's always a possibility here in Korea. Things are just building so fast. So um, here, the, once again, the floor. We're going to be redoing the tile on the floor. Here's a ledge out here. And we're not doing anything with this, but I found it interesting. And this is where the condenser unit goes for the air conditioner. You can see the, uh, the piping there. So that, that, that uh, and you kind of see across the way the different condensers that are out there. So air conditioning unit is gonna go there and then the main, the main standing unit will go here and kind of directionalize out for, for the entire area here. So once again, the balcony looking out, nice view. And as we walk around, and all these doors open up which is nice. So that way you can always open it up to get a nice breeze. This area here, I'm not sure why it was developed or designed this way. Uh, by the way, the balconies all have drains in them. And the reason for that is so that you can actually spray them down. There's a water faucet around the corner here. You could actually spray these down if you had plants out here or something like that where you wanted to, to clean the area every now and then. Um, and it gives you a nice, nice drain there. So I'm not sure why this is a contained area here, other than it might be for plants or growing items, things of that nature. There is a drain hole there. And it's uh, walled in on the other side here. So it's kind of a contained basin. And there's still the sliding glass windows. So if we go around the corner, it's all opened up around the corner here. We have the other area here. This is a drain pipe that, that goes from unit to unit as we go up and down the building. Another drain on the floor. This floor is going to be redone with tiling. Step over and keep going. And once again, this glass unit here, all three panels move. So theoretically, well, we have already actually, we can move all the panels to one end and open it up, which is nice. So here's our faucet with the, the hose on it that I was uh, just talking about. And we have another contained area here as well. So this is area is this area here is actually quite quite large. Um, we thought about breaking out the doors here and here and expanding this, but they many many people recommended that we don't do that because they they recommend still having that double barrier of glass. So we we held off on that. So once again, the tiling is going to be done on this area here, and painting. The brown uh, molding and, and framing we're going to keep, but everything else is going to be painted. 
and this is the other basin here. This continues around to the area where you have the water heater and the, the, the actually the clothes washer is going to go here. And we're going to get a dryer eventually too and that will we'll have a stackable unit and they'll go in place here. So uh, cabinets there and there's also a grill. I'm not sure if they actually use that. But you can see this room was heavily used as just kind of a general purpose area. Um, you can see the water stains on the floor. So all the tiling is going to be redone. Cabinetry is going to be yanked out. This is all be, this will all be gone. And we're going to be going with um, uh, storage cabinets. Come around from this side, looking at the same area, same room. This is kind of a built built up pad here. Once again, this is where the washer dryer would go. Uh, this is our water heater unit. And I'm not sure what the bottom unit is. It's got a water drain. Probably uh, part of the, the hot water system, I'm guessing. So our gas, the gas supplied to the unit. But once again, this is all going to be redone, retiled, painted, and so forth. And once again, the view out this way through the bubble wrap. So here, looking from this this balcony into this is the kitchen area. Let me see if I can get some lights on. There we go. This is the kitchen area here. So in here, once again, we're going to have a lot of remodeling done in here. All the cabinets, counters, appliances over here, this island, those those uh, display cases. All this is being ripped out and replace with new cabinetry. So it'll uh, be a different color, different cabinets, new stove. Uh, we're going with an induction surface stove and then a new hood. Um, in in uh, built-in dishwasher, we're gonna maintain that. Also, and we're, we're still debating this to the last minute, but I think we're gonna keep it is in the built-in fridge and then freezer. But I'm not sure yet, we'll see if if it works what's involved that type of thing um obviously this space here is for a conventional fridge freezer which we already have and we'll be putting here so that that'll uh it's not necessary to keep this we might decide to to turn this into storage the dish, dishwasher here we'll see about keeping that not sure once again if we're going to do that or turn it into storage so now what this this uh, island here, typically what they do is they keep it mobile and then there's a hot plate on the top that can be used and it plugs into this unit on the floor here. So we're gonna get rid of that. If we do keep this, we might move it back out onto the balcony, onto the, to the side there where we yank out the cabinetry. That way we have some storage area to, uh, to put some things. And then uh, here in the corner, we have a wine or a, yeah, wine cooler fridge that's going to be yanked out. This here is a oven refrigerator type, and we're going to be uh, buying a new one to put that in. This cabinetry on the side is going to be removed. It'll give us a little bit more room. So we've got this shelving system here and this, this uh, closed door shelving system. We're going to be yanking that out as well. Shot also from the kitchen area here. This is I'm standing where the fridge would be in the kitchen, and I'm looking out towards the balconies here. Kind of gives you a view of you know how those balconies are incorporated into the design here. We've got the kitchen once again. This will open up a lot nicer because we'll once again have these uh, these display areas taken out. That'll open things up. And as we move into the main living room area, you can see how that's going to be here. Air conditioner unit's going to be in the far corner. And there you have it. So Today is the 22nd of December. We've just gotten occupation of the uh, the unit. The interior designer contractor is going to be in 
starting tomorrow. I think they're going to be starting with a demolition in the kitchen. And we'll be documenting that as that occurs to give you an idea what you see, what it looks like. And hopefully with the real-time progress, you'll be able to see how fast something like this can occur. I was actually quite surprised with, uh, with the estimated uh, time for, for the project completion by the contractors. So we'll see if they can hold to it and see what the quality is like and see what the overall look and feel is for the apartment. I know a lot of people are interested in the building already that we've talked to. And uh, it'll give them an idea what they can do as well. So for, for now, that's it, and I'll see you in the next video.